Welcome to Easy Talks. Today, let us learn the difference between germline mutation and somatic cell mutation. Hi there, we are germ cells. Hello, we are somatic cells. Glad to meet you. Nice name. Hey, thanks for the compliment. By the way, we got this name from Greek. What? From Greek? Yes, soma means body, somatikos means of the body. That's interesting. Thanks, and what about you, dear? Finally, you asked, our name is from Latin. Really, what is the meaning? The word hermen meaning seed sprout. Wow. By the way, what is your family strength? We are just two deer, sperm, and ova. What about you? We are a big family. We are in brain, teeth, skin, blood vessel, heart, liver, bone marrow, blood, and we're not. Oh my God. Your family size is so huge. Thanks. Are you susceptible to mutation? Yes, we are. And it is called germline mutation. Oh, we are also susceptible to mutation. And it is called somatic mutation. In our case, it occurs only during gametogenesis. For us, it can occur at any stage of the life cycle. In our case, entire organism carries mutation. But for us, entire organism does not carry mutation. We do transfer this mutation to next generation. What is your case? Unlike yours, mutations are not transferred to next generation. That's good to know. Germline mutation is also called hereditary mutation as it is passed to offspring. Oh, somatic mutations are called acquired mutation as it is acquired during an individual's life. And mutations to us plays no role in evolution. Is it? But germ cell mutation is the basis of evolution. Interestingly, somatic mutations are finished along with the death of the individual. In our case, it continues till the offspring of the individual breed and may result in separate subspecies. Hence, it is genetically more important. In most cases, somatic mutations show observable effects. See, the two-colored hibiscus flower. Nice flower, indeed. In most cases, germline mutations are silent and don't show detectable effects. Do you know the fact that somatic mutations can be treated or cured? Great information. But germline mutations can't be treated or cured. Sorry to hear, by the way, somatic mutations does not cause genetic disorders, but may cause cancer. Okay, germline mutations are responsible for genetic disorders and also germline cancers. Examples of somatic mutations include cancers, tumor development, neurodegenerative disorder, etc. Examples of germline mutations includes hemophilia, Down syndrome, 18 trisomy, etc. Okay, it was nice talking with you. Bye. Same here. See you.